Greg, we got a lot to talk about we in the do. weather department, yeah, too. Yeah, one more round of rain and storms to deal with today. Then we'll start to talk about some uh, clear skies across North Texas to end the week. Let's get you out the door here this morning. We are going to be looking at cloudy skies now, so no rain out at DFW. 62 degrees out there for you right now, but there will be some delays uh, a little bit later when those uh, storms get going. We are looking at the coverage to increase as well as we go through the day. So we'll put it at about a 50% coverage as we head towards 7 a.m., but we'll bump that up to about 70% coverage as we head toward 3 o'clock clock this afternoon and then those rain chances do drop off late today and certainly that will be the case heading on into this evening. So here's what it looks like on radar right now. No rain around the Metroplex. We do have those uh, showers though down to our south and east. So some uh, pockets of some moderate rain from Palestine pushing on into East Texas over toward Tyler right now. So that's where we'll have the heaviest rain here this morning heading down I-45. Well down I-45 in fact for today. But an increase in coverage is expected as we go through the day today. So be prepared for that. You might not need the umbrella around a large part of North Texas right now. But as we head toward mid late morning, that's when the uh, rain chances pick up and some of the rain could be heavy. So we still do have that flood watch that's been extended until 7 p.m. here this evening for those areas along and east of I-35 where we could pick up an additional one to two inches of rain. And we have seen that widespread rain that has been heavy over the past uh, few days here this week. So let's bring in meteorologist Maria Ruiz to talk more about how much we've seen so far. Yeah, you know that flood watch definitely needed Greg's because of that rain that we're expecting today, but we've already had a saturated soil out there. I want to bring your attention across uh, the Metroplex. We've had anywhere from half of an inch in Fort Worth to over an inch and a half in Dallas. But look at Southern Tarrant County, less than a tenth of an inch for some spots. Denton, uh, we saw some areas get close to four inches of rain in northern Denton County and close to three and a half inches of rain uh, for Denton there. One inch and just over an inch in McKinney. Now the highest rainfall amounts by far have been along East Texas. Tyler picking up over four and a half inches of rain, and that's just since Monday. And of course, we are expecting additional rainfall there, but this is going to vary throughout the day today, especially along our eastern counties where we are expecting uh, some of that rain and also the, the threat for some strong storms, Greg. Yeah, we still can see some stronger storms today. The severe weather threat is low. You see the rain. It has been heavy, so any additional rain is going to exacerbate the flooding issue, so definitely keep that in mind. Severe weather threat, though it is going to be low, mainly a hail threat in our eastern counties there, maybe up to quarter size, and it's a marginal low end risk. Heading out towards Sulphur Springs, Paris, and Clarksville in our far northeastern counties. There's some significant severe weather along the Gulf Coast a little bit later today, but we're going to be on the back side of that, so the severe weather risk is low. But here's what the time cast will look like as we go through the day. Watch what happens as we head toward mid to late morning. We'll have that next flare up of the showers and thunderstorms across the area around 10 a.m. to around noon, widespread showers and storms, and then that will continue as we head home a little bit later today as well. You see the rain will finally start to taper off as we head late into the afternoon, and that trend will continue for us as we head into this evening. So probably a little bit wetter coming home today than it is for you right now as you head out, head out to work and school. All right, here's what it looks like with that 14 day forecast. Upper 70s, close to 80 as we end the week. They, as the rain tapers off, they're going to be in the 80s over the weekend, up around 84 to 85 early next week before those rain and thunderstorm chances do return early next week. And yes, we will be talking about that potential for some strong and severe storms once again.